Self-sabotage. Not fun. Getting near success, getting nervous, fear of success, or losing interest right when something's about to work, getting upset about something, all really bad stuff. So let's get into two really easy ways to fix it. First of all, something really, really important is don't get into all this armchair psychology or even there's professional psychology doing this, being like, oh, I self-sabotage because when I was four, I want a cookie and I didn't get it and that made my self-image harmed. All this sort of stuff where it's like turning yourself into a science project, avoid that because you can't really know what exactly causes something and it's honestly a total waste of time. What we wanna do more importantly is just focus on getting results. So that being said, number one, is you can just make commitments and say, I'm gonna do this no matter what. So let's say your goal is to succeed in sales and you just almost had a big sale, or you just made a sale and you immediately lose interest. Oh, I don't wanna make any more sales. You could simply say, I'm gonna make 30 sales calls a day no matter what. That's gonna eliminate those thoughts, because even if your mind is telling you, oh, something could go wrong as you approach a success, or oh, I'm not interested in this, or whatever it tells you, you just made a decision and you keep it, and this works no matter what is going on, whether it's self-sabotage or it's just laziness, just keep it really simple. Say, this is my commitment, I'm gonna do it no matter what. Number two is very simply, this is particularly if you have fear of success, or fear when you are starting to get success that you could lose it. I've had that where I would start closing deals and like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to maintain it. If I tell people they're gonna think I have more money than I have, I'll stop making it, stuff like that. What works for that is to write out your goals, journal about them, not just like writing, this is my goal in a sentence, but journal on it, how good it will be to have those goals and why you want them and really remind yourself of the gap between where you are and where you wanna be. What this is gonna do is it's going to help you to always be moving forward. If we have something and we're just trying to defend it, or if we visualize having something and only defending it, that's gonna lead to a lot of that fear of success. But there's always a next step that we can enjoy, we don't need to put all this pressure, but enjoying striving for something in a positive way that can really just decrease that fear of success.